Hello world, it's the Surfing Scratcher here bringing you another video connecting the world of maths to Scratch. If you haven't already, check the description below for links to previous videos as this one is part of a series. Also got the project down there so you can remix it uh, ready to create your mathematical rule. In this video, we're going to take our mathematical rule that we looked at in the last one in our Scratch Planner and translate it into Scratch Blocks. I've got some comments throughout the project that we're going to step our way through. Uh, feel free to just read those comments and do it watching this video. Let's get stuck into it, eh? Here we are back in our Scratch project where we're now going to code the rule that we created in the last video. So I'm in the custom rule sprite and we are now going to walk through each of these individual steps. The only thing that's changed is I've actually just um, put in step one here so they refer to other comments in this sprite. Step one, define the rule. To do that, create a new variable with the name of the rule in your define rules block. Okay, so in step one, that's this part down here. Step one, figure out what you want you want to make so we know what rule we want to make we did that in the last video a rule between 20 and 30 give it the name rule underscore rule name where rule name is the name of your rule great make sure the variable is for this sprite only so let's go across into our variables and let's make that variable for this sprite only rule underscore between 20 and 30 cool that part is really super simple it pops up here and the reason for that is we just need to hide it so if we uncheck that box it goes away. Now we need to make sure the variable is for this right only and we need to set it in here, so in our define rules block. So you could go into your variables and find the set block and a simpler way to do that is just duplicate this one and find the rule that you just created. Rule between 20 and 30. Wonderful. The text that you're going to write there is the text that displays when you click a sign. So the text that we want in there is between 20 and 30. So that is now our variable. Let's find the next thing we have to do. We need to add the rule. So grab an add block from the list category and add your variable to the list custom rules. So I'm actually just gonna go across and find our step two. So grab an add block from the list. I'll just reconnect uh, that one there. So that is our rule greater than 10. We need to grab another add block. So if you're in the variables, into the uh, list section of it, you can go, you can add a thing. Now we want to add our rule to our custom rules here. So let's do that. We'll go back to our variables and find that rule that we just created, rule between 20 and 30, and we now need to add it. So if I just pop that up the top and I disconnect it, I'm now only adding the rule between 20 and 30. I'm just forgetting this rule up here. So let's go back to our step three with what we need to do. We need to create the rule block. So make a custom block that checks whether or not the rule has been met. So somewhere down here is step three. Here it is. So step three in the my blocks category, which is this one just here, create a custom block. Name the block with a question mark at the end of it. As this shows we are checking something, it'll be either yes or true. So let's do that. Let's make that custom block. And if we jump back over to our planner, we said that we were going to call that is between 20 and 30. So let's actually do that. Is between 20 and 30. I like to put the question mark there because we're kind of asking questions like that inflection. Is between 20 and 30? I don't know. Yes or no? So we'll click OK there. And now we have got our custom uh, block defined there, but there's nothing in it. So we need to do something. We need to create the condition for when the rule is met. I can't tell you what that is. Uh, well, I can in this video, but when you create your own ones, I can't tell you what that will be. So let's go ahead and create the conditions for that. So if we jump back across into sketchbook, we can see that if the answer is between 20 and 30, then pop up the mole. So the very first thing that we need to do is grab this if block right there. And you can see that we've sort of got something very similar to what we need in this greater than 10 block. So I'm just gonna go ahead and duplicate that. We'll just go through the stuff that we need. So if our answer is greater than 10, well, we actually want this one to be greater than 10, but we want it to be greater than 19 because remember our rules for between 20 and 30 and for our purposes this is including 20 and 30. So if our answer is greater than 19, that includes all the values 20 and above. But we need to stop that before it gets to 31. So we need this and something else. So we're going to go into our operator category and we're going to get an and block and then we're going to get a less than block. So what we need to do here is we need to get our answer and check that it is less than 31. 
So if it's less than 31, then it's going to be 30, 29, 28, 27, 26, so on, so forth. The last thing I need to do is just slot this block inside that AND, and we smush them together. So if our answer is greater than 19, and our answer is less than 31, then we're between 20 and 30. So that is working the exact way it should. So when the condition is true, call the notify rule to animate. So just by duplicating this last block here of code, we already got that for free. If you wanted to do that manually, you go into my blocks and you would go get the notify rule to animate one just there. But pretty easy just to duplicate it. We don't want to check the rule greater than 10 anymore, that variable. So we're gonna go get rid of that and we need to go get the rule that we just created, which is the rule between 20 and 30. So this is just a custom block that I created uh, that basically matches the guest rules that a user has guessed with the currently active rules in the game. So you don't need to worry about that one. Your focus is just on the mathematical component of this game. Cool, so we've done step three. Let's check out, I know there are four steps in here, so what is the fourth step that we need to do? We need to now call the block. We need to add the custom block you just created to the validate user answer. And then we're done. So let's scroll down to where step four is. There it is, call your custom block inside the if statement. So right now we're calling uh, if it's greater than 10. Now what we need to do is also add that custom block that we just created. So are you now between 20 and 30? So to actually see if our block works, what we need to do now is start the new game. So I just press the green flag and I can, a little cheat here is if I check active rules and I can see the four rules of the moles that are here. So rule uh, one, so the, the yellow moles rule is an odd number. Our green moles rule is less than 20. Our purple, well, pinky purple moles rule is a three digit number. And our blue mole is between 20 and 30 if I expand that out. So what we need to do now is we need to click the chick to enter a number, and now let's enter the number 20. Cool. And there goes our blue mole, just as you would expect. Let's enter in the number 19 now. Cool. And our mole does not pop up. If I enter in the number 31, I'd expect it to not pop up, and it doesn't. Now let's enter in the number 30. Cool. There goes our mole again. So that's working. Just dandy. The last thing that we need to do is just to check if this actually works. So our rule four, is it between 20 and 30? Into number one, boom, there we go. And our sign turned to green. So we're done. You can make rules until your heart's content. I would definitely encourage you to work in the Scratch Planner before you jump into this project just to help spell out your ideas. I find that is super, super useful. That's it for this video, and that's it for our series on Whack Rule. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up, and make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell so you're notified when more videos are released in the future. You can check out links to my other projects. They should be popping up right now. And also, drop me a comment to post your Remix project and show me your mathematical rule. I'm also really interested to hear about what you want to know in Scratch, so then I can make some bite-sized videos for you. But until then, I'm off to go find a wave. Take it easy.